welcome to Hey Y'all Creative. It's Kelsey checking in with you guys. This will be, sorry if the camera's a little wiggly, my stand is wiggling. <laughs> this is going to be kind of like a dual catch up video um, for August and September. Um, August was insanely, insanely busy. It's just, life is just busy right now and just, whew, it's been a, it's been a go. So, um, this is a two month video of catch up from August and um, September. I have some really awesome things to show you, some awesome things to share with you. Um, so let's let's jump in. Um, so just to kind of recap a little bit, um, I think in my last video I had taken you guys with me to submit my um, piece to the state fair. Sorry, my hair is bugging me. It's a little bit frizzy because I was running around earlier. Um, to the state fair and I went and submitted it and I got third place. Woo! I got third place. Um, and I, I cannot wait to go see it. Um, so it's, it's a big deal. I was really excited because if you don't know, the state fair of Texas is actually a worldwide competition apparently. So, um, sometimes some of the competitions can get really intense and I kind of figured with the way crochet has been going this year and trending that it was going to be some pretty intense competition. I know the knitting competition is usually pretty stout for the shawls and everything. So, um, yeah, and the blankets and the afghans. So I submitted my little ballerina elephant plushie and she got third place. So I can't wait to go see the other two people. Um, that one with me actually other three because technically the top four are declared um winners and get to be displayed um in the display boxes so um yeah i cannot wait to go see and i cannot go wait to see the other competitors and what they made so um i think my family and i are going sometime mid-october so if you're going to the state fair, state fair of texas and want to go check out something cool um swing by the creative arts building behind the cotton wool and look for a submission by Kelsey from Hey Y'all Creative, um, Ballerina Elephant. She's super cute. You'll know it when you see it. So that was really, really, really exciting. So yeah. Um, well, to kind of kick off things before I start showing plushies, something else that I've been getting into is I have been making custom eyes. I have really, really, really been enjoying making custom eyeballs. It's kind of hard to see it. My lighting in here is not very good. I've got to get a different headlight in the room, like with the ceiling fan and stuff, but I've been using, honestly, I have just been using nail polish and some paint. And, um, this one's really pretty. It's super glittery. This one actually is the UV gel nail polish. Um, which I find that I really, really enjoy working with the UV nail polish versus, you know, the UV resin. And I know they're like the same thing, but with the nail polish, it comes pre-mixed and it has a little brush and it's clean. And um, I feel like the, the nail polish is a little bit more forgiving, I guess. I'm going to close these just a little bit. I feel like it's really bright outside today. There, is that better? <laughs> um... I feel like the nail polish is just a little bit more forgiving and workable than necessarily UV resin. I think the thing with the UV resin, I haven't found the right tools yet, which I hate, I hate that because I hate buying a whole bunch of different things. That's the nice thing about the nail polish setup is you can actually order kits on Amazon, nail polish kits that come with like four or five different colors. And even with the gel resin ones, you can get four or five different ones all together in a kit for like 20 bucks. And now you have endless potential and everything's already set up for you. And I bought a super cheap little UV light set that came with a big one and a small one. So I've got two lamps essentially. And it's super easy. I hit that lamp, let them sit under there for a couple minutes and let it harden. And then I just bring them back over to the table and I just, I paint, I mix and match with um, my different nail polish colors. Sorry, my hair is really, really, really bothering me. So. Um, and I know if that bothers some people, I'm sorry, um, but it's just, when you see yourself in the camera, you kind of realize what's going on with your hair for the day. So anyways, but yeah, the, the nail polish has been working really, really great. And then what I do is I'll show you guys while the nail polish is still kind of tacky. I take some of the glitter backings that came with the, um, 
with the eyeballs and just smoosh them down on there and let them finish drying on with the rest of the nail polish. And then you have almost like a three layer triple color. Let's see, it'll focus. It's hard on, yeah. Yeah. So, and then you have like a three layer color combo situation happening, which is really cool and makes for some really beautiful eyes. Um, so that's what I've been doing in my in-between time. I am currently market prepping. I have a big market in um, the end of October. So I am making things like crazy. And as you guys all know, if you market prep, um, that can really be hard on your hands. And then I also work a very physical job. Um, both when I'm working with my patients and when I'm doing my assistant manager duties, I am often sitting at a computer, which we all know is really not the best for our wrists and our fingers. And so my hands and fingers and my wrists get really, really tired. And my thumb, my thumb joint, my CMC joint has really been kind of bugging me. So I've been trying to take breaks from crocheting as I can. Um, to do things at least that will help keep me being productive and staying productive. And I love the eyes because I think it's just a special thing that I can offer. Um, when people come to look at my things, I can let them know, hey, all of my, you know, most of my plushies have special individualized eyes created by me, hand painted by me. So um, please enjoy. Um, so yeah, but that's that's what I've been doing in my, my in-between time when I'm not crocheting. What do you guys say we look at some plushies? Um, so first up, I've got this little cutie. This is Lily the cat. Let me get my sheet, my cheat sheet. And all the patterns that I mentioned today, they will be listed. I will get them added to my Google Doc um, so that you guys can have access to them and know where to get them. Um, we don't gatekeep in the crochet community and yeah. Um, so I like to share and, and recognize the creators for making such wonderful patterns for us to enjoy and have fun with, um, and to also sell and make some money with. So, um, this is Lily the cat. Yeah. And this is by Holly's Yarns Creation. She is on, I did the tail a little high, but that's okay. Um, she is on Etsy. Look at her little paws. I just embroidered them. But this was a super quick, simple. These are also hand painted eyes by me. They're hard to see because of the color. Um, super, super simple, quick little make. She was actually my car project, um, that I was working on. Um, as most of you guys know, as I've said before, I commute a significant distance to work. So sometimes I get to work a little bit early. Um, and if I, I, <laughs> I usually use that time to crochet. Sometimes I read my book, um, but typically I have on my audiobook or I'm watching a YouTube video or vlog and um, I'm working on some projects and some simple things. Um, and then next up, these are not in any particular order, by the way. Um, they're just how they are in my little bin that I have here. Give me one second. Stuff is running away. I I was cleaning out my closet this morning and I found a Batman fabric Batman bin. That's perfect for holding things for me while I'm videoing. So um, I'm sure you guys, I, I think I showed my progress with this cutie patootie in a video. I can't even show her, she's so big. But I finished her. This is my little unicorn. Um, I think I called her Pansy. The pirouetting unicorn is what I named her on her Instagram post. This is a labor of love, um, and she is also a one of my examples of how I um, how I Frankenstein. I call it Frankensteining. How I Frankenstein different patterns together to make something that I want. I wanted a ballerina unicorn to go with my ballerina elephant, so. This body is the, the body from the ballerina elephant pattern. Um, that's also listed on the Google Docs. I can't think of it right now. The legs are also from that same pattern, the elephant ballerina pattern, as well as her little bow. And then as far as everything else, it's a unicorn pattern. I cannot think of the name right now. That is also listed on my Google Docs that I talked about in the first video when I showed you guys that I was doing this. But she's so cute and she's big. So there is that one. Um, and then also too, if you're new to my channel, um, I have said it several times, I am not a small, 
item maker. Um, I know there's there's a reason for those items and they're important. And um, if you are doing this more as a source of income, the markets and the crocheting, um, yes, 100% agree with you that there is a need for you to have those small items so that you're having a continual cash flow. Um, but for me, this is a hobby and this is, you know, something fun to do, maybe get a little extra pocket change here and there. Um, but I also prefer to make larger items, more artistic style items, um, to really showcase and brag about what, what crochet can really can be and do. And so, um, I like to focus my energy and efforts on bigger items, higher price items as a lot of you would say. So, um, you will notice that I tend to have more higher priced items. Occasionally though, I get a, I get a nice little medium size. I don't know. It's okay. We'll say medium size, a medium amount of work pattern that is just addicting and I love it. And also too, if you've watched some of my videos before this one, I am a bulldog mama. Um, I love bulldogs. I love my bulldog. I love little squishy bears. Like smushy face dogs are my thing. Um, and one of the pattern designers that I follow, the yarn zoo, she's amazing by the way. I suggest that you go check out some of her stuff. She recently released a new pattern. Let me grab my two that I've made so far called Binks the bulldog you guys you guys look at these little babies so this is binks the bulldog by yarn zoo um she, she did a fantastic job with that pattern um everything is well explained there are pictures she has videos um these are hand painted eyes by me I used a little bit bigger eye than she recommended, but that's okay. That's the beauty of crochet patterns and how to put your own style on things. His little bum, look at his little feet. You do, she even shows you how to do the little pink paw pads. But this is Binks. Um, he's very, very cute. I love, I love plushies that are designed like this that you can just hold and snuggle. He's also great too, because I know you can't see it, but he's literally dog shaped. So you can carry him like a dog. You can carry him like a dog. I also made my nose a little bit bigger than hers, but beautiful pattern, wonderful pattern, so much fun. Um, this is this is my second one that I made. He's a little bit smaller. Um, that first one I used, I used the Joanne Plush yarn. This one is Bernat. Um, he is so cute. And I did the mouth a little bit different. I accidentally kind of got it on crooked and I, I think I was off a stitch or two on the roll. So I had to do some tacking to kind of make the face even. <laughs> and when I did that, it kind of made his lip a little bit wonky, but that's okay. Um, he's still cute. Hang on. Let's see if I can. This is the other great thing about crochet. You can kind of, it's very much a soft sculpture craft. So yeah. So these are my little bulldog puppies. I have a third one going on the couch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I highly recommend a Binks the Bulldog. Go check out Yarn Zoo and get a Binks the Bulldog pattern. It's 100% worth it. Um, again, beautiful pattern, well written, well explained, pictures, videos. She did a great job. So highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you guys, I don't remember showing y'all this I may have been a work in progress. Um, this is Fergie. This is by Cable and Canvas. She is a little hippie doll, little hippie rag doll, and she sits and she's super, super cute. Um, and I'm really proud of her. I actually implemented a new technique. One of the things I was having trouble with, if you see my mermaids, when you do hair on a doll, especially crochet hair, it's very heavy because crochet fabric is very dense. And so when you start doing hair and stuff on a doll, it makes it, excuse me, really heavy on the head. So um, I implemented an, implemented a new technique where basically you crochet like another arm, but like a little bit smaller. And then you stuff that super, that arm that you just made super, super like full. And I even rolled up a piece of felt and stuck it in the middle of that so that it was like a solid, soft, solid, 
piece to put in the neck to keep it from being so floppy. So, I mean, it's still pretty floppy, but that's okay. She's a rag doll. It can be. But before I did that, it was like very, very floppy. So, yeah. So, this is Fergie. She's super cute. I did the little space buns. But, yeah. Check out the Fergie pattern. She's also... She's... She's also designed, like, if you look at the original pattern, they designed her with, like, a frog bucket hat. And she's got a little frog. I didn't really want to do that. I just like the cute little hippie. So I kind of used, um, I used that pattern. And then for her hair, I used, um, I used the space buns from the mermaid pattern by Palms and Posey. So, um, again, a little bit of a Frankenstein situation. Next up is a cute little commission piece that I finished for a family member. She is a cousin and this is a little cardinal. This is the backyard. Let me grab my sheet. The backyard, it's part of the backyard birds pattern by Red Wing Crochet. There's a whole bunch of different birds in it. So um, if you're looking for some cute little birds to add to your market prep, um, Go check that one out. It's got a, she's got a whole bunch of different little birds in it. So, but this is him. It's very cute. Very sweet. Just a little, just a little bloop. <laughs> so there's that one. Along the same lines, I was trying to give options to my cousin on what she was, what I could do for her. Um, she, she'd, she'd originally liked that pattern. If you look at, when you look at the original pattern for the backyard bird pattern, um, they are smaller. I use Bernat blanket and a little bit bigger of a hook. So I was a little worried that it wasn't going to be big enough for her and what she was asking. So um, I went ahead and made a second option for her. And this is Gracie the Cardinal. Just a little Cardinal lovey. A little plushy. So Gracie the Cardinal and that's by loved knots so gracie the cardinal um not surprising i made another cat toe by lemon cat so um yeah <laughs> i'm gonna make one more so this is number two um this is one of my favorite patterns i know he's a favorite pattern for a lot of other people too um this is a perfect phasing yarn by bernat i just used i just started i just started from the center of the ball and started making body parts and this is how it turned out and I just put them all together and it just it all goes really well um I think it looks really really great so little Kato and then lastly um I am making a couple of smaller things to be able to be provided at my market um I know not everybody has 30 bucks or more, 25, 35 bucks or more to be buying stuff. But, you know, I feel like when you come to a craft market or a big show, um, a lot of people are actually looking for those things. And so I, I really, like I said, I focus my energy on that. But it is also important to, to have a couple of smaller options as well. And this is going to be one of the things I have available. This is the No So Wearable Pet Dragon by Making Things Naughty. You just tie it around the wrist. I have a whole bunch of different other colors and styles and options. So, um, but they're super cute, super quick and easy. Um, and I think they're gonna be really fun for the kiddos cause you can tie them on the wrist and you have a pet dragon. I think some adults are gonna like them as well, especially with Halloween coming up. Um, I know House of Dragon has been really big this year and dragons have been trending. So um, that that is one of my smaller things that I'm gonna have available. These are just really fun to make, um, just to sit down and veg out cause you don't really have to think about them. So um, that is pretty much all I've made for, for these past two months. Um, I finished up a second elephant commission, ballerina elephant commission. And I'm currently working on a third one. Her sister ordered one. So i um, currently working on that. I'm trying to get it finished. Um, that's just a, that's a hard piece because it gets heavy because it's big. It gets really heavy once you start really trying to do the finishing stu stuff. Finishing pieces on it. I cannot talk this afternoon. I'm moving too fast. So it gets a little bit heavy. Um, so 
I have to take breaks. Like I said, my hand's been bothering me. So I've been trying to do more of my higher ticket items, but that are also a little bit smaller. So that's, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Um, planned works. I'm going to make another Binks. I've got three little ghosty patterns, um, halfway done. I need to add the arms, the slippers, and um, the the wavy part at the bottom, and they'll be done. Hopefully I can show you guys one. Um, and then I'm currently prepping for my market um, and getting ready with all my setup and stuff. So hopefully I will remember to vlog on that day <laughs> and have some footage for y'all to see. I'll also try to take some footage when we go to the fair um, of my piece in the cabinet and you know just the fair in general. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. I have some more things planned that I'm gonna be making. Um, I will jump on in October and share those things with you guys. I'm also gonna be trying to do some more posts on my social medias, um, more short form posts so that you guys can stay engaged as I'm market prepping um, and getting ready for kind of a, a busy season for fall and winter. But I'm excited. Um, I have my channel and I have, I've made so much progress with my crochet. There are some really great patterns that have come out, some really awesome, some patterns that I love. I'm excited about my eyes now and I can add that special touch to my plushies to differentiate them. So as always, just trying to make the world a little bit brighter. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.